Excuse me, welcome back everyone to a uh, tight situation. Destroy defenses. Now we're on the other side. Perfect. Pick up blank UDL card. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I still can't believe that worked in the last episode. What's that? You want me to hit this self destruct button? <laughs> Dialogue options are burned. <laughs> All right, let's check out what the terminal has to say. Uh, encode key card. Sweet. Subject closing down. A transport vessel has been dispatched to HRS 1084. I've taken the liberty of upgrading the sensitive materials containment rating of this asset, which means you are permitted to leave with company branded consumables, but all personal effects must be left behind. That sucks. Do not interfere with the tanks. A cleanup crew will dispose of all exhausted assets in time. Anyone who requires ethical correlation therapy can speak to a space of care approved alienist. Interesting. James is gone and he never said goodbye. I keep telling myself that he wanted me to remember him as he was outside of the tank, or maybe he was just a bad at goodbyes. When I saw what was left of him, I wanted to airlock everyone who let it happen. You could have said something, James. We were never short on time. Nothing's keeping me here now. The bits aren't worth it. I've requested a transfer. I get the impression I'm not the only one. Kimball thinks there'll be trouble once the docks run out of warm bodies. If James was around, I know he'd set her straight. Now that he's gone, maybe I could use some convincing too. She showed up next to my bunk last night, said that if anything happened to her, her password was her daughter's name. Hope it never came comes to that. Interesting. Can we talk? Yeah, sure, what's up? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Just goes to show there's always a peaceful option. Unless Peachy has the controller. <laughs> sure. <coughs> and fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Some people do. That was a very specific image. Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Nice to know you care. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? I don't know. You ask me. We're gonna work together. I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. I like you. But what's a zero G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. <laughs> I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Sweet. 
I was hoping to know something a bit more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise the space hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Where are you from? How'd you get into this line of work? Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Aw, not really. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. Yeah, okay. No complaints here. Let's go. <coughs> Wait, wasn't there a ladder over this way? Yeah, there was. Let's check it out. Hey, we're on the upper floor now. Poor scientist. Ooh, he had a rifle. Nice. And a busted terminal. Is that really it for up here? Bummer. You a guy there, Felix? <laughs> Messages. Too redacted. Of course, morale is low. Wait. From. Kimball I to Kimball A. Once upon a time, there was a princess who trained to be a soldier. While the other princesses got jobs at canneries and counting houses, the soldier squinted down his sights at the firing range and made sure she hit the target every time. Then one day, a not very nice man offered her a job at an ivory tower far, far away from the kingdom. The princess could provide for her ailing father, her lovely child, and her goofball husband but she would have to stay locked in the tower until the doctors could find a way out. Once she thought better of her choices, the princess applied for early dismissal, but no one listened. The end. I love you, Angelica. Maybe you should write me a better ending. Give your father a hug and tell him I'm sorry for missing another birthday. Mum. Bummer. Of course morale is low. You gave those PhDs tanks of nuclein scrambling gas and no warm bodies to test it on. What did you think would happen? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree, Kimball. You ask that I reach out. I'm doing so. Is something amiss with the team? How's their morale? Their commitment to the project? So what was her concern? <coughs> You two, let's go. Bad bugger. Uh, what about over here? Disabled bugger. <coughs> Can I go this way? I go this way then. <coughs> oh hey, looks like the doors are working. Watch your step. Let's see, any loot around? Can I pick up stupid sims? Security routines. Disengage. Personal files. Mama bear. Kimball came by asking if any of the docks had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet, just ask Alpha. She walked off with a spring in her step. Weird. She then requisitioned a UDL Electro Floor 3000 for my checkpoint and a crate of concussive mines. 
Guess she didn't believe me. Is she preparing for war? She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems specifically uncomfortable around the docks. Well, I guess she knew what was gonna happen. Restricted area. Ain't nobody got time for that. This place isn't restricted. Not to me. <laughs> Pick up inhalables. I feel like I'm playing Fallout 4 again. Just looting random houses and things in the houses. Yeah, that totally made sense. Okay. Oh, thank a lot was everything. Now we get to go through this door. Those subjects, they're still alive. Oh, oh, Holding tank 002 log. Subject, Dr. Claire Pearsall. Current status alive, unstable condition. Stasis setting active. Notes, subject's condition is dire. Make sure resuscitation devices are on hand upon revival. Please hold on, Claire. We almost had it this time. I swear we'll bring you back. With love, Dr. Eva, Lorele, and James. Is that who's in... No, that's not who's in there. So, where is... <coughs> so, who's in this one, I wonder? Subject, Dr. Dr. James Guthai. Current status alive, extremely unstable. Subject will need extensive nuclein resequencing for any chance of viable extraction. I'm sorry, I ended up like this, James. We will come back for you and fix this, I swear on it. Please forgive us, Dr. Eva and Lorelei. Huh. So they were experimenting on their own staff. Isn't that just brilliant? <laughs> Sounds like something uh, Vault Tech would do from the Fallout series. <coughs> Oh, it's that tank up there. Oh, there's one over here too. I don't even realise. Uh, wait, he's still alive also. Alive, unstable. Subject should not be revived until a method for stabilising his condition is found. In gratitude, Dr. Eva, Lorelei, James and Claire. So, Ava and Lorelei are the last ones are not here at the moment. This one's Dr. Claire. Okay. I wonder where the other two are. Terminal. Transfer of administrative privileges successfully completed. 
continue. Displaying automated confirmation. If you're reading this, you're standing with legal property of Sublight Salvage and Shipping. Good work, contractor, report back to Sublight HQ to collect the cut. Project Summary. Executive Research Focus Group E177. Purpose Biological Hybridization and Assimilation Strategies. Goal further the chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nuclei using strand ob strands obtained from halcyon native fauna. Classification C Rab, aka Raptodon. Oh no. They're trying to get hybrids of humans and raptorons. It has come to my attention that a culture of distrust has soured relations between HRS 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. We can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in Halcyon Colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Ooh, that is harsh. You might be the finest agent Sublight ever hired. Wait, Chartrand? We've seen that name before, back in Cascadia. Oh? Something on your mind? Uh, no. A oh, hundred? Are you kidding me? I don't think I can get up to a hundred. Lockpick, stealth skills. Ninety-seven! Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta get to... I gotta get back to the ship and get, um... Parvati with me, because then, then I can lockpick this nonsense. Parvati, you're needed. <gasps> Parvati. I want to see what's in that door. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Pavati. Captain, Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Oh, that's not good. Why are they arguing, Art? I'll wager they're arguing in the kitchen. Young Millstone, you look pensive. I don't know what that means, but I've been thinking. It ain't easy carrying a torch for the Rangers. I understand. The Rangers' victories are your victories. Their defeats are likewise crushing. You serious? Wow, Max. Never expected you'd understand. This may come as a surprise to you, Felix, but I understand what it is to be a fan. That's so. You know something? Maybe I was wrong about you. To be a fan is to live vicariously through another. You feel you are one with the Rangers. <laughs> you ain't been the same ever since your drug swing, Max. <laughs> Hi, Anioka. Oh, hello, Captain. All right, Pavati. I need your specialties. We're going to unlock that level 100 door. Uh, Felix, take you out. Pavati, you're in. <coughs> Editing, go ahead and keep this bit in. At least until uh, I unlock the door and get back to the unreliable.
Oh, wait, what was that? Shipping label, one case of UDL concussive mine, signed by Chief of Security Ida Kimball. Warning, contents may have shifted in transit. Warranty is void on any and all detonated mines, regardless of cause. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying mines is a fireable offense. Mines are not company authorized decoration, pets, or sporting equipment. Mines are not suitable for ingestion. Mines are not eligible for any recycling promotion. Do not purposefully stand, sit, or recline on mines. Mines are not your friend. UDL claims no liability for any actions taken or not taken by mines. <laughs> UDL recognizes that you could have chosen any remote explosive provider. Your commitment guarantees product quality and safety for many shipments to come. Thank you and have a pleasant detonation. Quality and safety not guaranteed. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Alright. 99! What? Parvati, tell me. You're giving me, uh, some, uh, perk, sneaky persuade, lock pick 74, yeah. Why, why, why aren't you giving me, uh, giving me more stuff? It's at 99. <sighs> uh, okay, let me up your... Armor. Why not? Okay, let me go back to the ship and get Neoka? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get Neoka for this too. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I'm sorry this episode ran long. I thought, I thought, I honestly thought I would be at, uh, 100 lockpick, but apparently not. But thank you again for watching. I hope you, uh, I hope you watch the next one. We should be able to get back to uh, the sublight lass and turn in. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Damn it!